Hey guys, this is a new present I got from Goose Hill Sports. It arrived in the mail a while back, but I haven't had the chance to actually use it properly and go fishing on it until today. So Dad helped me drill this in. It's just a little rod holder. Got the GoPro mount up here. That'll just go on the front. But today's my first day actually gonna try and fish off it. I'm just gonna try and catch a flathead. If it doesn't work out, then it's just practice. But yeah, it takes a little while to blow up, but once it's good, it's really stable and really fun. You can catch waves on it, fish off it. Yeah, so five minutes once I've finished doing this, get the guns going. See you then. <laughs> this is a first, so <laughs> it's a bit awkward. I've got a soft plastic on the end of here. I only brought one. So if I lose it, it's game over. But it's just a practice today, nothing serious. Oh, I thought I had one then. That, that felt like a bite. A weed or a bite? Oh, that was a bite. Back there for a minute. Oh, got one. Got one. Got a little flooded. It's only going to be small, I can already feel it. <laughs> First fish on the sub. First fish on the stand up paddle board. No way. He's growing a bit. Oh, oh, he's pulling, he's pulling. Way. <laughs> he's only just woke up. Here he comes, flathead. <laughs> he's pulling hard. He's pulling. He's pulling the sub. Yeah, I just gotta land him. Holy moly! He's pulling the sub. <laughs> He's pulling it. Now I didn't bring pliers or anything to grab him, so I'm just gonna have to use my hands. Sorry guys, I can't give you a better view because I gotta land this fish. But he's a good 40 centimeters. I can see him. I wish you could see it from my view. He's just swimming. He's not giving up yet. Where? <laughs> I'm stoked. <laughs> I just gotta land it now. <laughs> On the sun. Phew. <laughs> that is awesome. First fish on the stand up paddleboard. And it's a good size flathead. So he's coming back with me for dinner. Because that is awesome. He swallowed that hook. That goes to show, first time ever fishing on a stand up paddleboard, landed a good size flathead. I'm stoked. I'm going to pull up on the sand here just to make life easier for me. And we'll put this guy out of his misery. I'm still frothing. I'm still absolutely frothing on that. I did I didn't expect it to be honest. Like that's what I was going for, but I did not expect it at all. Goose Hill Sports Sup. Landed a beautiful 
Dusky Flathead on the 10 foot 6. Thank you guys. So, oh, he shot it out. All right. Come on. Oh, yes. <laughs> Done it. <laughs> you can't stoke, stoke out too much until he's in the esky. He's not going anywhere. I've got dinner. It feels good. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we get some more. Any more I catch, I'm just going to let go probably. Let's we'll see how we go. Just keep drifting down. Oh, I'm frothing. Thank you again, Goose Hill Sport, for sending me this sup. Let's try it out. It is awesome. Just caught my first fish on it, 40 centimeter plus. I'll measure him when we get home. But I'm stoked. So let's get back out there. Check out the size of this blue swimmer crab. It is massive. I wish I had my goal was to grab him. Just saw a little blue swimmer crab. Went too fast over him. This guy is about seriously five times smaller than the one I saw. I'm just going to steam home. I'm not going to fish anymore because if I stop and start casting, I'm just going to drift back that way more. So I'll see you guys when I get back to the grass. Look, look, look. I am back on dry land and it started raining. Seriously, it's when I stepped onto the sand. But I don't care because I've got a solid flathead in my esky. And that was fun. That was my first time fishing off the Goose Hill. Inflatable 10 foot 6 stand up paddleboard and it went very well. It didn't fall off once. The esky that I made with the rod holder. Just drilled in a rod holder from a complete angler and it works perfectly. Just sits in these little straps here. Beautiful dusky flathead. How big do you reckon? 40 centimeters? Very healthy fish. So they'll turn up delicious. Flathead is one of the best eating fish. A lot of you have asked me to do a flathead catch and cook. So tomorrow will be your lucky day. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Yew. Welcome back guys, today I've come down to cook some brunch up, which I'm going to eat the flathead for brunch, it's going to be absolutely wonderful already, because I didn't have the dinner, because dad made a smoking roast pork, which was absolutely delicious, but anyway, so I've come up to one of my favourite spots again, just looking over the ocean at my local, and yeah, I'm just going to do a simple crumbed fish, nothing serious, one of the classics, and hopefully it turns out good, so let's get straight into it. The first thing I've got to do is just take the fillets off this flathead. So I did measure it, it ended up being about 43 centimetres, which I'm stoked on. It's not my personal best, but on a soft plastic it is my personal best for that. Look at that, perfect flathead fill. I've just got to take the bones out, but that looks absolutely delicious. That's it, that's how easy it is. So I'm just going to keep the frame because it's crab season now, so I will use it in my crab pots. I'll probably keep 
most of my fish frames that I catch. Wipe my hands. Ugh. So slimy. Oh, that looks so good. Yummo. Alright, let's get started with this. Yeah, boy. Bit of oil. Oh my god, that looks so good. Holy moly. How good does that look? Mm -mm -mm. How good does that look? All right, flathead tails, crumbed. <laughs> that is one of the best tasting fish in the sea. Everyone would agree with me, that is one of the best. That is so good. Well guys, that wraps up another episode. Another big shout out to Goose Hill Sup for sending me that sup test. It worked unbelievable. I'm gonna head out back again. Hopefully I can pump out some more videos using the sup to catch some fish. It was so fun. See you next time. Yew. Mm-hmm. <laughs>